Climate change is a change to the state of the climate system that persists over an extended period of time, in addition to natural climate variability. Global warming refers to the long-term rise in surface temperatures of the Earth that cause our climate systems to alter. Human activity is the primary cause of climate change. Burning of fossil fuels such as oil and coal emit greenhouse gases that work to trap the sun's heat. Other human activities such as agriculture and deforestation are also significant causes. A changing climate has multiple severe consequences already being felt in many areas of the world. Consequences include a rising magnitude and frequency of extreme weather events such as droughts and hurricanes, the spreading of infectious and cardiorespiratory diseases, mass extinctions of animals, reduced crop yields and malnutrition and large-scale migration of people and animals. Limiting the effects of climate change is vital to achieving all sustainable development goals and for the future prosperity of humans on Earth. As the economic engine of our production and consumption systems, companies are the key contributors to climate change through greenhouse gas emissions. Greenhouse gas emissions are produced by all sectors of our economy. The energy sector that burns fossil fuels for electricity and heat, agriculture through fertilizer production and raising of livestock, industry that burns fossil fuels to make steel, concrete and chemicals, transport and the forestry industry all contribute significantly to climate change. Companies are not just key contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, but also face extensive risks of climate change consequences. The World Economic Forum positions failure to mitigate climate change as the number one global risk to business, and a risk that continues to grow as climate change consequences escalate. Firms face reduced productivity of farms and plantations, supply chain disruptions from extreme weather events, scarcity of natural resources, weather damage to factories and health implications of workers, just to name a few. Alongside these direct effects of climate change, societal forces are also acting upon firms. Education on climate change and its risks has spread throughout the world, with societal and consumer groups increasingly calling for action. The Paris Climate Agreement of 2015, signed by 195 of the world's countries, committed governments to limiting climate change to well below two degrees above pre-industrial levels. A commitment that will not be achieved without action by companies. Firms now have a great prospect to not only mitigate risks, but also take advantage of new business opportunities through reducing greenhouse gases and taking significant action on climate change. And there's a compelling business case. In the last four years, firms leading action on climate change have financially outperformed the global benchmark by 6%. At a basic level, operational improvements to reduce greenhouse gases can lead to vast cost reductions and a reduced dependency on natural resources. Siemens, for example, has invested $110 million to reduce the energy consumption of their factories, employ low emissions vehicles and increase the use of renewable energy. This is estimated to provide them with savings of $20 million annually that will soon pay off the initial investment. In 2018, the toy maker Lego introduced their first collection based on sustainable and bio-based raw materials. These products act to reduce their dependency on fossil fuels and support their reputation with the consumer. Market-based instruments, such as carbon taxes and cap-and-trade schemes, have spread worldwide and reward firms for lowering their carbon footprints. Investors are also aware of the significant risks of climate change and the advantages of a low carbon footprint, leading to lower costs of capital and access to finance for climate leaders. Excitingly, we're also seeing many firms now take up the challenge of radically transforming their companies through new, low carbon business models and a proliferation of disruptive new market entrants. In the energy sector, the development and explosive growth of renewable energies is offering great new business opportunities. For instance, in the Netherlands, the startup Van de Bron 
developed a platform to connect end customers with independent energy producers, such as farmers with wind turbines, to allow them to buy the electricity directly without any utility company being involved. Firms are creating business models, focusing on selling the use of a product rather than ownership of a product. This allows firms to make products that last and can be used again and again without new products being produced causing greenhouse gases. Bike sharing schemes have exploded worldwide, while companies such as Philips Lighting have created a business model whereby the customer pays for the service of light without owning the lighting. World's largest company of modular carpets, Interface, is one such great example. I invite you to see how they're doing this in the video by Gianna van Arkel. Action on climate change is vital to achieving sustainable development on Earth. Firms are key to global climate action and many are accepting this challenge. Innovating and transforming operations through profitable business cases. But the window of time left to make significant steps in reducing greenhouse gases is short. Deep decarbonisation of our economies is yet to happen and requires further transformative thinking and changes to the way we produce and consume products. I invite you to join the climate action and be part of the new low carbon economy.